Hey guys, quick video on Walter. Um, this is a truck that uh, me and Primer's best done some trading on. Um, I, I, man, this door's killed me. Very hard to match this, I'll just tell you. I've tried everything, and um, man, I, I mean everything. It's I, I've stripped this door down several times, all the way to bare metal, and, and started from scratch. Uh, I tried to put vinegar and stuff on it to rust it. Uh, this rust that you're kind of seeing here, that's not rust, that's just paint. Um, Primer's Best and Mrs. P.I.B. come over the other day and helped me with this thing. Uh, of course, it don't match real great on the bottom. It's it's not perfect, but it's I feel like it's a little bit better than it was, and that's good enough for me. You know, I, I don't care. It don't stick out like a sore thumb anymore. Uh, I don't believe. Now the door's got a lot of dust and stuff on it where I've been sanding. Um, you know, you can wipe on that door and you're gonna have a lot of white dust on your hands. But I think once I wash it, put Penetrol on it, it's gonna be pretty close. Um, but we'll see. I've also uh, fixed the biggest part of the leak. Uh, this back here, you're saying that uh, I had a drink sitting on that step, spilled it, so that's my stupidity. But uh, that's, not, that's not a leak. But it had a pretty bad transmission leak. And um, the pan gasket had been replaced. Uh, Primer's Best I actually took it to a transmission shop. They fi supposedly fixed it. They didn't fix it. Um, maybe it wasn't their fault. Maybe the transmission pan had a crack or something in it. But I like to have never got the pan off. Uh, I tore the pan all the pieces getting it off. Had to put a new pan and one of the Moroso uh, gaskets on it, which is a big thick blue one with a metal insert. Uh, I put a shift shaft selector seal in it and so that's got the biggest majority of the leaks fixed uh, it's also leaking from the dipstick tube uh, which is not a huge deal it's pretty typical on some of these if you don't get that thing in there good and straight especially if it's got the o-ring on I don't know if it's an o-ring or umbrella seal either way it's going to go back with an umbrella uh, seal but um, so yeah uh, it's got a little bit of leak a little bit of a leak from the dipstick and the uh, speed sensor. It's its just dripping just a little bit from right there. So I'll get those two things addressed, finish up the trim on the other side. I also put this air dam on the front. I really like those. I put those on about everything. Uh, again, I put carpet in it. Uh, I'm gonna get a new battery for it. The battery that's on it's uh, kind of janky. Uh, it's pretty old, so I'm gonna put a new battery on it. I might put an Edelbrock carburetor on this thing. This Holly does good, it starts up good, but it's a little bit co collared You gotta kinda let it sit there and warm up. And I've got, uh, God, I don't know, I'm sitting here looking at seven or eight Edelbrock, so. And one of them I just went through for the blue truck over there, but it just wasn't big enough for that motor, so. Um, it's brand new, it's just sitting here on the shelf, so I may throw it on there. But uh, anyways, like I said, wash it, clean it up, penetral it, get those few little things done. I think I can knock most of the uh, you know the leak and the trim and stuff I think I can knock all that out in a day and uh, then one evening just wash it put the penetrol on it and uh, let it sit in here overnight and uh, should be ready to go uh, I think it's just about ready and uh, we'll see what happens with it I'm not too crazy about getting rid of this truck I'm not in no hurry to uh, I like my blue one over there it's not as good a truck as this one this is a good truck this truck is solid it is super solid. Um, I haven't found any rust in this truck yet. I know Tim Dixon had it. He fixed a little spot on the camp corner, but man, this truck is just so solid. Uh, it's got really, really good bones. You could go either way with this one. If you wanted a super slick truck and you wanted to paint one, this one would be a great start. This one over here, it's just a no shop truck. It's got rust in the rockers. Uh, it's not bad, the floors are good. It's got a little bit in the camp corner. Uh, a little bit in the bed on the passenger side. Nothing terrible. Uh, but like I said, this one's just a, a lot better truck. And uh, so, anyway, I'm going to see what happens with it. Again, I, I'm not I'm not going to be upset if I bring this thing back home. It's going to go to the rod running Pigeon Forge. Uh, I'm going to price it pretty high, but holler at me and uh, if you're interested in it, you're up there, and uh, I'll work I'll work with you on it. I know where I got to be at on it, and uh, as long as I can get my money. And, you know, break pretty well even. I'm okay. It's not going to be cheap. Um, it's short wheelbase, square body that's super, super solid. Uh, it's got a really good running 350 in it. 
The transmission changes gears good. By the way, I put a new modulator valve in it as well. I'm just sitting here trying to remember what all I've done to it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's a good truck. I think you can start it up, take off down the road, wherever you want to go in it, and, uh, you know, not, not be worried about it. Um, anyways, I will update y'all once I get it washed, get the penetral on it, yada, yada, yada. Um, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.